Hi, welcome back to our channel. We are back for part two of Mama Moo. Part two. We got a babysitter and Ooh. everything. Just Man, so we got drinks. Our child will not be crying and 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 interrupting. I got coffee. And cheers. interrupting. Cheers. And interrupting uh, this amazing performance. It's a lot, though. I'll tell you right now. The switching between songs is kind of hard to really dive in deep. So Absolutely. I'm excited to react to more of them. And I think, the, let's just say, we're scratching the surface. This yeah. is our first introduction to yeah. Mamamoo. We did it the first round, kind of have an idea of what we're going into. But just like with BTS and all the other people who we had never seen before, yeah. we're scratching the surface. That's and so these are right. initial reactions. These are yeah. initial opinions. You know, but yeah. our first BTS performance was the Tiny Desk. So right. they had full songs, and we got actually a lot... Uh, right. We, there was a lot more opportunity to, to kind of dive deep. So yeah, but this is this is super fun. I'm really enjoying it. Yep. Um, let's let's, let's get going. started. Let's, let's do keep, it. Keep going. <laughs> oh. Jaga <laughs> 빛나는 밤이네요. Oh, 그러네요. 문별이 빛나는 밤. 문별이. Okay. Come on. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to compare this those two. This is such two. a jam. This is such it. a jam. Um, so those two wait, lines. Wait, wait, wait. I have, oh, sorry. Oh, you have names? I have names. Yeah, perfect. Hwasa, Huyin, Mun Pyol, mm -hmm. and Sola. Huyin. Huyin. Um, you listen to that line that she sings. Starry night, na, 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 na. And she has a lot of breath and air coming through. And then, which was a bad example of what I just did. Sorry, na, 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 na. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It does. It doesn't does matter. matter. Anyway, um, <laughs> so she has like a lot of air and kind of breath coming through. And that you hear a lot more in her voice when she's singing versus um, Sola, right? Sola. Uh huh. Where she has a lot more clear, resonant phonation. Starry night, da, 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 da. Well, I think she. You know was, what I mean. I think she was really getting after it. exactly. So I think there's two things at play here. Every time you have the same line in a song, even if you're singing it as a solo artist, you want to sing it different. You know, it adds dynamic. Mm -hmm. But I think also it aids to how their voices are a little different. Like I think that her voice, Huyin, is a little bit breathier, a little bit airier quality. And then listening to Solar's voice, it's a lot more. Um, classic and clear yeah. like there's definitely that pure the pure pho nation and resonance and i just think it's interesting to hear them side by side let's listen totally. one more time just to see if you guys can hear that yeah, super, super full. Yeah. Solo was super full mm -hmm. um, that second time. And I think that just kind of continues to bring it up, right? That's oh, that, yeah. That's that gradual crescendo. Yeah. Um, dynamic, yeah. Super dynamic, yeah. Mm -hmm. We talked about that in, in some previous React videos. Yeah. Something that we've seen a lot in, like, the last 20 years of, of pop singing and that pop style is... Uh, mm. uh, 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 the glottal uh, stop. The glo well, and again, it's like, it's mm -hmm. like a... It's like a uh, mm -hmm. you know, it's a grunt. It's kind of a kind of a cry. And like some people, you know, love it or hate it, it is the sound that a lot of people are going for. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I just think it's really interesting. One thing I want t people to kind of be aware of is if you do that uh, a lot, um, you know, that's that's a glottal stop. Yeah. Just exactly what Malia was saying. It you're closing your vocal folds and you're forcing your behind it and go, uh, you know. Take that for what it will. Just be aware that um, the more you do that, the more it's going to be kind of hard in your voice, and it's mm -hmm. going to be a it's 
at least in my opinion, it's not a good way to start a phrase. Right. Um, but it's kind of the pop sound. So you kind of, it's, it's hard to get around. What do you think? I about- think it's definitely a stylistic choice mm-hmm. um, that people, um, you know, they like the sound of it. It's yeah. kind of like that cry. It's a, sure. it's a little bit, um, I don't know, dramatic also yeah. as well. I think that the alternative um, would be like what we kind of teach and talk about, which is where you're starting all of your sounds with with air and with vowel. Air. Yeah. Obviously, if the word starts with a consonant, you're not starting it with air yeah. and vowel. But the the idea is that um, usually we hear these when it could just be air and vowel. You know, yeah. it's like on an ah or an e or something like that because that's what the style kind of wants you yeah. know you you want instead of like a ah you want ah you know it's yeah. it's kind of hard to explain but well and i just i hear it a lot in young singers yeah and these are professionals right, right. so they they do it both ways they do it whatever way they start a phrase and can do a phrase mm-hmm. very well yeah either way right they know how to use their instrument like that but mm-hmm. if you're a new singer if you're you know a young singer um starting all your phrases like that can kind of become a habit that you don't really want to, right. you know, you want to, you want to do it on purpose. You yeah. want to be able to, to do things, um, both ways. Yeah. And I think, I think, especially for younger singers, it's a much better habit to get into, to start with that air, start with, you know, even, uh, an H sound, ha, huh, you know, mm. um, that's what a lot of our choir people, yeah. um, suggested and recommended. Uh, but you know, I'm not knocking it. It's the pop sound, mm-hmm. but just be able be to cautious. do it. Be yeah. able to do it both ways. Yeah, Absolutely. Okay. Move down. My turn. <laughs> Put it your turn. <laughs> Let's go, Musta. Woo! Put on hands, you great hand bump on an e-bell. So that's what I got for my look at an air. Million year, she tag it, shiny on the new shake, which I don't know much of the six hours. We have come up, we don't, yeah. Now she couldn't give a down day, eh? More strong and naughty up, so more than get goes to Should we to compare their two oh, voices for a second? This is such a good song. Hui In and Sola sing right beside each other. And I, I personally, uh, and this is, of course, a personal opinion. Preference. Right? Preference. Yeah. I feel like Hui In has so much more you know, we would say overtones mm. or like, or like it's, it's harmonically rich and wide. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a lot of sound coming out and yeah. I feel like there's not as much. And I, that comes from, you know, the resonance mm-hmm. there. Yeah. Uh, you know, placement. We, we talked about that yeah. with being, it being, you know, a nasal thing and all right. that kind of stuff. But I think it's a resonant thing yeah. um, that it brings out a bigger sound than um, Sola. Sola. Yeah. Let's listen to them side by side. I'm so they're singing pretty much the same notes you know one's not qu- a bunch yeah. lower but when sola sings it sounds like it's way lower well yeah and i don't know if we made it i think we might have originally made it this far in the last video and then cut it and we made this point last time yeah. um but to me i think the resonance of where it is on compared to the two is um, Hui In. Her resonance is all really high. It's mm-hmm. it's it's like the the front of her nasal cavity, yeah. right? We and would so, call that the mask. The yeah, the mask. mask. And so it's coming. It, it's the nasal side of singing, and mm-hmm. that's why there's so many higher overtones. Versus, I think Solar is coming just from the mouth. Yeah, it is. It is like strictly mouth. So it sounds a little bit flatter, not in. Pitch, not in pitch but in um in in like resonance yeah it's like vibrant, a flatter resonance yeah. yeah you don't have the higher overtones or the ping that we that we definitely clearly hear in hui in mm-hmm. um hui in and so that's just a, a super interesting comparison because they're singing the exact same line yeah. and they're both professionals right? right so this is this is there's a lot of different ways to sing you know there's a lot of different ways to play guitar play yeah. piano there's a lot of different ways to use your instrument and be an artist but um you know i think that they're using different techniques here um, they also have different instruments they have different instruments yeah. absolutely i think that for a long time, I kind of sang like Sora, mm-hmm. yeah. but my goal, my personal vo- vocal goal was to be more like Hui In, yeah. um, in the sense that I want to have that really rich ping. It's just a preference thing that I like, but a lot of people might not like that big kind of brash, you know, people will call yeah. it sometimes too bright. Right, right. Um, 
sound. They want kind of the smoother, more mellow, um, like Sola. Yeah. It's really interesting. I love comparing Me voices. Too. It's, it's so much awesome. fun. Everyone says that Hwasa is sick. Oh, <laughs> and I'm really? like, yeah. And so some people say that's maybe why that it might have an effect on it. Yeah. Or, you know, other people saying no way, never, never, no way, no way, never. never. But I'm just saying, I wish I sounded like that when I was sick. Right. I think you know. that. It, that makes a lot of sense to me. Yeah. There's a little bit of a rasp to yeah. it. But I definitely hear an effect on it. But I assume that that was just because that's what they wanted. Yeah, I'm still not sold on that. But I think that... Sold like, on there being an effect? Yeah. Oh. I think that, you know, it might be a little bit mm-hmm. EQ'd or it might be compression. Hmm. Um, which could, you know, you could say is an effect. But to me, she just sounds like she's talking. Mm. Wind, flower. Yeah. Wind, flower. And she seems like she's, um, you know, if she... Everyone says she's sick. So let's say she's sick. Yeah. Um, she's... Using her instrument really well. Yeah. If you're sick, but you continue to do things the way you talk, you know, if, yeah. in, as long as you don't have a completely lost your completely lost your voice, you should be able to sing pretty well. And she's yeah. doing that actually very well. Yeah. I'll listen to that part one more time because she's just so chill. <laughs> Sorry, I want to go back one more time. So that get better day by day is a lot of stops mm. right there. Um, by day, it's like by yeah. day. Yeah, it's um, it's kind of tough. You know, that's and and that could be an an English thing or, mm-hmm. or whatever thing. I just want to point it out. Yeah, that it's um, that's a lot of stops right there. Yeah, and you can. Go all the way through it with your air. They chose to not do that. But if you sing it, you know, the way they want right. to sing it, that's a lot of stops. Just I be think, careful. Yeah. And I think what you mean even more specifically, like, you don't focus on the consonants of that, of that phrase. So, get better day by day. Yeah. And, you're, and you're singing on the vowel. So, the, the consonants are just a small little stop. It's not, like, the focus on it. Yeah. And, um... Yeah, it's easy to get swallowed up in consonants. Yeah. And it's also just a really simple, quick little line, so you don't yeah, think a lot of it. it. And it can be, you know, it can be the effect that they're going for, right? Yeah. It's a little more percussive. Get better day by it day, could be, right? Yeah. It could be a little more percussive in what they're going for. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just something that I'm noticing. Yeah. Yeah, she's got a pretty low voice. Yeah. There's definitely like a, a doubling effect, a doubling on, her effect voice, on her voice, but that's yeah. not. That's just to, I think, add to the texture. And you can do that with reverb. You Absolutely. can do that with delay. That's um, not like. That's that, just a cool effect. It's super cool. Yeah. But she's still singing. She still has a pretty yeah. nice deep voice. And yeah. it's clear, right? Yeah, absolutely. You know, so some people always ask how to sing high, but how to sing low is it's tough too. Really tough. I struggle with that because I'm, you know, I'm a, as a as a tenor, mm-hmm. um, I could typically sing high, but it's I also am required to sing some lower notes, yeah. and I struggle with that a lot. A lot of people push. They go. Right. But it's like that's you're losing a lot of clarity there. Mm-hmm. You do it the same way you do everything else. How are you talking? You know, la 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 la. Air. You just keep it right there. Mm-hmm. Um, you don't don't push it into your chest. That doesn't help anything. Yeah. Just do it the same way you talk at any other time. Yeah. <laughs> Could you 
So first, before we move, before we talk about Solar and what she's doing, let's talk about um, that was the most beautiful sound I've heard yet from um, Hwasa. On the right, yeah, on yeah, the right. That Hwasa. was that was just really gorgeous. Oh yeah, really beautiful singing. Um, maybe that's also because where the um, so the melody is in her range. I don't know. Yeah. I just really really liked that. Yeah, Hwasa seems so effortless yeah. when she sings that phrase specifically mm -hmm. and then when you switch over to hui in mm -hmm. she does like it once kind of airy and yeah. light and then kind of brings in her full voice Absolutely. and does it yeah and you can i i just feel like uh hui in and sola mm -hmm. are working a bit harder yeah right and i understand it's different parts of the range but like specifically sola is Absolutely. really really working it yep and she's pulling off the mic a lot Mm -hmm. Which makes me actually wonder how loud she she's is. She's singing, yeah. You know, how loud are, how loud are you singing? She's yeah. got to be singing pretty loud because yeah. that's a technique, right? Mm -hmm. uh, mic um, placement and, and, and mic technique is, is a big thing. And she's, you know, obviously professional. So yeah. she's going to know when she needs to pull off a little bit more and, and kind of come in more. So, I'm yeah, I'm just, I'm curious. Mm -hmm. I really am excited to hear more like full songs and stuff yep. but watch we'll, we'll watch Hwasa and then um Huyin and then Sola back to back again yeah. and just look how easy it is for some people and, yeah. and how other people are working really hard also last thing I love octaves I've said this before oh, but yeah. it's just it's so nice you can yeah. hear um that they do, you know, the lower octave, the higher octave, and they just kind of sprinkle it throughout, and yeah. I think it's just a really nice sound. The way they blend, too, is really, <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's, it's so incredible. Impressive. Yeah. Yeah. And they have such different voices, but then when they sing together, they sound like one voice, which yeah. is blending! Which is blending, so. you know, and that's, you know, we talk about how choir can, can give yeah. you some False. bad habits, but I also think that that's, singing together with, with people is a skill, and mm -hmm. it's, and it's you know, ob obvious here <clears throat> that they have worked on it, and Absolutely. they're professionals in, in singing together and blending Absolutely. their voices. It's really awesome. So much I miss you. Oh, 
Okay, okay. Yeah. That was the same register, mm-hmm. all right? So let's go back and let's listen to Sola yeah. and then watch Hwasa. Mm-hmm. And even though Hwasa's sick or whatever, um, Sola is working really, really hard. Yeah, but I also think that, what's her name? Hwasa? Hwasa. Yeah. Well, look at her tongue. Let's just look at her tongue while okay. she sings. It's out. Uh, it's opposite of what she needs. She needs it to be down. You think Her, so? Yes. Ha, 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 ha. You lose all that resonance when your tongue is so up like that. I think she is space, sick. Not quite enough space. It sure. sounds like a sick thing. Sure. But look at her neck, you know. Her neck is right. is, is is easy. And if you watch um, Sola, she's doing this. And that means yes. the back of your neck yes. is super duper tight. She's working very um, hard with but, her you know, neck muscles. Yeah. Now, people, people tend to throw good and bad on things. Mm-hmm. And we're not here to put good and bad on things. We're talking about how people are doing stuff. Mm-hmm. This is how Sola is doing it. This is how Hwasa is doing it. According to from what we, from see. What we yeah. can kind of see and what we can kind of tell. Um, we knew a singer who, who one time she, it was in a musical and she had to wear a big Afro wig and she had the same kind of like, um, neck muscle and that, you know, she used the same kind of, kind of singing. And every time she would sing, it would shake the whole, the whole wig. wig. Um, and her vibrato would just shake the whole wig. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's, you know, that's, that's one way people sing. Uh, so laws, mm-hmm. um, control right. from all of that mm-hmm. is super impressive. It's impressive. How yeah. she used it earlier in the right. song as like a, as like an effect yeah. was amazing. Right. Was amazing. So, you know, having that amount of control based mm-hmm. on your musculature, you know, is one way to do it. And is is the way some people do it. It's not really how yeah. we would teach you right. or any of that kind of stuff, but we're not saying that it's a bad way. I mean, <laughs> it's one right. way to be professional. I'm going to make a claim just from what we've heard so far. Mm-hmm. I mean, we still have a little bit left. But I believe that Huyen's voice is the most d- dynamic. Mm. I think she is the most um, range. Not just physical range. This one, but, Huyen? Yeah, Huyen. Because she can sound breathy and airy. Obviously, is a stylistic choice. Mm-hmm. Because she can also have that super clear full. and um, full resonant sound. She seems to choose when to do it. Yeah. And you can also tell that they all kind of have a pretty dynamic voice because when they sing together, despite them having such different voices when they sing alone, when they sing together, they sound like one voice. So they are capable of blending. They are yeah. capable of having those adjustments. But I would say, claim that I'm going to make right now, I believe that Huyen's voice is the most dynamic. Sure. Yeah. Sure. I think that last time, part mm-hmm. one, we uh, Huyen was my favorite. Oh, yeah. But right now, I'm feeling Hwasa. Hwasa, yeah. Feeling Hwasa, <laughs> even if she's sick, and even if sometimes it sounds like a little bit too Swallowed much of that nasal or, oh, or whatever, okay, okay. you know. Um, I am enjoying her yeah, voice. Her just voice. her style and how she uses it musically. Yeah. I'm just like... I'm feeling it today. What do you think about my tongue comment? I think you're right. I think I think that that's actually a really good point. Sometimes um, when people try to sing high, mm-hmm. uh, you know, this is a this is a anatomy thing that I actually don't really prescribe to. But like the <laughs> larynx goes up, and that's you know can be can be a problem. Right. And you go, ah, you know, yeah, yeah, it, yeah. you can definitely sing higher and stuff like that. But it's like a little bit of a weird noise. Like you get some weird overtones mm-hmm. there. Um, but I think that she could have used a, a little bit of space there. Mm-hmm. And I think that anytime your tongue gets real tense, yeah. um, it's not going to help you. Right. It's not helping you. Right. I mean, but that's to say, you know, that's, 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 that's my belief. And I think that uh, Sola mm-hmm. has some tongue tension and some neck right. tension and she's doing she just, just fine. fine. So, yeah. you know, this is all um, from just a place of just, yeah. And yeah. just a place of what our experience is. And, yeah. and in my experience, my tension has been something I'm trying to get rid of mm-hmm. because it helps me sing for longer. You know, mm-hmm. when we were doing three hour gigs, I couldn't sing with a bunch of tension because my voice would be just wrecked. So, you know, it's, um, it's just different strokes for different folks. I definitely agree with you that Hwasa could have relaxed her tongue a little bit yeah. and that might've helped her.
Sola does it a little differently than Hui Yin, and yeah. I actually think that Sola's is is just wildly impressive. Wildly you know? impressive. That's that control piece that we were talking about that you kind of have to muscle that in order to do it with with well, the with the straight tone. She there. also has this strange, like it's almost like tube and throat singing resonance that's oh, sure. happening. And then she opens up the vowel and it changes. <laughs> And yeah, then opens so it up. Good. And Ooh. when she, oh, it's just really, it's I love really it. Good. I think it's a it's beautiful really sound. Good. Okay. Hey, do it, do it, like me, do it, Loving the harmonies here. Yeah. This that was like a yeah, it was like a minor six or something. Oh yeah. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was it was super cool. Yeah. These last two songs are wild. Yeah. Like I I'm excited I this seems like a different performance setting than they normally have. And if they like dance, man. Also, can you imagine Whoa. going from song to song to song to song and just like complete shifts with it's it nuts. with seconds to like switch from one and some of them yeah. don't like have auto like you have almost no transition no. where it just goes straight into it. It is it's in a wild. Different key? It's in a different what are you key. Doing? It is like yeah. That's how it just shows how much they know their songs. Oh my though, gosh. Obviously. It is yeah. it is wildly impressive. Wow. Go go baby. Go go baby. Go go baby. Go go baby. How do you, what do you think the difference is between that light and airy and the full voice? What are they doing differently between between one another? I think I have an idea. I just want to get your input first. Um, 
Ha, na, 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 na. I think that the first, like the breathy airiness, I mean, literally what's happening is more air is coming out, but how do they approach that? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. How would you approach that? Na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. Less air. Less air. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like um, it's less, like, you just have, in my opinion, I think it's like a more relaxed stomach. You're not, mm. you're not sending as much air through. Um, Maybe like, not as controlled. Yeah, yeah, it's not as controlled. But mm-hmm. I think when they do that belty high yeah, yeah. kind of thing, they are locking in and, and, and really supporting mm-hmm. and sending it through. You could also argue, too, that it's like head voice versus a chest mix. Sure. Like, depending on where it is, um, you know, that's really what's happening. I guess less air is the wrong thing to say. Um, I don't know. I kind of agree with you, though. Yeah. Because what I, when I'm saying like that, engaging your your belly and to, your diaphragm and your yeah. diaphragm but like in a you know because i feel like your diaphragm is always kind of going but mm-hmm. when you really lock in and send your air through using your stomach mm-hmm. um that's that's at least what i'm hearing that's yeah. that's to me how i how i would get that really high kind of chesty sound um sound you yeah. know i'm always kind of mixing a little right. bit but if i want to get up there and i want to sound full that's that's how i would do it yeah. and i think that you saying less air is kind of that way where it's yeah. it's more relaxed. You're you're just letting air pass through. Yeah. La 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 la. You know, yeah. that's kind of how I would do that. It's 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 a little bit lighter. Yeah. Um and not so I'm sending my air through right. and, and getting that and note. Using it through Yeah, yeah. and getting that phrase up there. Yeah. No, I would agree. Yeah. wait to watch them dance oh yeah yeah i like really <laughs> you can tell that they they want to yeah <laughs> also they can't yeah. not dance it's yeah that was awesome i am yeah. so excited to hear like full songs and stuff absolutely can you guys let us know in the comments is this killing voice thing something that this like channel has artists do where it's like they sing 24 of their songs in 15 minutes or something <laughs> yeah. like that? Or is this specific to Mamamoo? I know we can do research, but you guys know so much. I've actually, and so I've been I've been reading a lot of the comments on the first one, and uh, that's what people are saying. It's yeah. like, check out the Killing Voice for this other band. For these other bands. So and this I'm is like a sure thing. It's like a, a challenge. Thing, yeah. That is a really cool idea yeah. to like highlight your artist that you're yeah. interviewing or whoever you're featuring. Yeah. I'll be honest, though. It is hard to yeah, be able it. to kind of like 
you know, do the thing we normally break do, which is yeah. break it down and like take our time with certain stuff. You don't have as much, you know, to, to kind of get used to the song, get to know the song. All while having so much. All while having so much, you know, <laughs> you, you have this amount of time to yeah. kind of assess what you're looking at and yeah. then, you know, make a, make, make an is, observation. Yeah. Um, well, and that's what I think maybe it wasn't the best for us to choose for our first time reacting to Mamamoo, but it also did give us a good, I don't know. I don't know if yeah, I would say I that. I it think was that, that bad. Yeah. yeah. I, think, I think it was a, it's a great way to like have a bunch of really interesting music thrown at you and make you, make you want to check out more. Cause yes. that's definitely what it did for me. Totally is intrigued go, us. Okay. This is awesome. Yes. I definitely want to dive more into Mamamoo. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, you know, that, I think that's, that could be the point of it as well. If we're going to go there, which I've decided to go there, who is your favorite singer? Oh my Mama gosh, Mo? why would you do that? After this, after that plethora, that um, smorgasbord of songs and examples, which one is your favorite and why? Okay. And you can say that they're all amazing because obviously they are. But oh my which gosh. one is your favorite voice? So they're voice? all amazing. I want to say that I'm really loving, um, I'm so sorry. Don't be. Huasa. I want to say, oh. we haven't said a lot about Moon Byul. Oh, yeah. And she's awesome. She's amazing. I like her rapping more than most American, where, where like American mumble rap is right now. Yeah. Super not a fan. And she sounds awesome. I just yeah. love what she's doing. Yeah. And it's like super percussive, super um, in time and like really interesting mm-hmm. rhythms. I'm such a huge fan. Um, I just said that because we hadn't said a lot about her and I just wanted to tell right. people that I'm a fan. Well, um, excuse me. It's also kind of hard because we're reacting to singing and we did that once before where it was a rapper and we reacted and it's like, oh, it's a different thing. Yes, yeah. it is music, but also, we're talking I, about singing. I'm just, I, I like rap. Absolutely. I enjoy, I enjoy rap. But okay. Of the singers. I believe oh, of the singers, I'm going to go a singer. I know that, yeah. with, um, of the singers, I'm going to go with Huyen. Yeah. I think overall, overall, well, I'm definitely, definitely a fan of Hwasa. Yeah. And I mean, the key changes and some of the stuff uh, that Sola did, mm-hmm. boo, you know, so that's yeah. like, it's a, t- it's a really tough mm-hmm. one, but I think overall I am just like, you are so awesome in, in terms of like yeah. who I want to sound like and right. who I kind of want to sing like. That's. It's it's Huyen. So here's what I think is funny about this question. I'll give you my answer, but ultimately, I think we like who we feel like we sound like the most, sure. or who we feel like we would want to sound like the most, or whatever. So while I absolutely love Huyen's voice, I love them all, but while I love her dynamics, I think that the most relatable to me and the most that I love is Sola, because she has no. this, like kind of clear resonance her voice is super simple like it's just simply beautiful you know yeah. what i mean um versus huyen's voice which is just it is not simple there's nothing simple about her voice no. her voice is and I, neither with Huasa either yeah. their voices are very very um like unique and i'm not trying to say that solar's voice isn't unique um but it just i think it's definitely i like more that, of that classical simple style, classic like, like beautiful yeah good singing good yeah. singing i would say that's my vote after this particular performance i just really like her voice wonderful. and i feel like i can relate to it wonderful yeah so we have a new patron we want to give a shout out yes. to thank you so much conrad Woo-hoo. for becoming a new patron um we hope that uh we can you know continue to make more of these videos with your help it's been it's it's really great having so many patrons on patreon um and all of that kind of stuff helps if you like this video please give it a like and if you're new here please consider subscribing we make new videos like this every week We are Chase and Malia. We'll see you soon.